Hello, Ultimate Oops Nation. I'm Reed Nelson. This is Izzy Alkafas. This is This Week in Rec, week six, coming to you live from Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, big story of the week. The Turtles prevail over seven um, by 18, I believe. Um, did the Turtles play extraordinarily well? Is seven not the real deal? What's What do you take away from this game? Um, well, I, I think two things. Seven came in arrogant. They thought they actually were going to win. And the Turtles made sure that they weren't going to let up. Uh, it, they played, J-Sam specifically, I want to highlight that, he played like it was a championship game. He was really working his ass off. And Seven just got frustrated because they haven't played def uh, a team that plays defense like that. Jansen shut out Brahma. Brahma didn't score a single point. And he wasn't even close to scoring a single point. Um, I think he went 0 for 8 from the field. And he had like 5 turnovers. Uh, Jansen took him out. And then I think uh, Elijah went 4 for 16. J-Sam did a great job on him. The Turtles just locked down on defense. And they just moved the ball around well. And essentially, the 7 just didn't have enough. I guess experience, I would say, to, to really come back from it. So if the Turtles play like this, they're obviously the favorites to win, but they just don't do it every week. Now, Seven does not have an incredibly difficult schedule to finish up the season. If and when they go 7-1, and one, based on this 18-point loss to the Turtles, where do you rank them in the, uh, in the standings? Well, it's tough because the only other team they beat that I think is solid are the Huskies. And the Huskies, I think they, they were both trying to lose that game. If they go 7-1, and one, I still think they get a – I'll, they'll be in the top seven for sure, I think. Um, I'd probably give them the uh, – depends on how the Bloomington team stack up, but I'd say maybe the fifth or sixth seed comfortably. Okay, Muskies take down the Red Devils. Uh, season after the Red Devils held them to 28 points, yep. I believe, which I think is a record. Uh, what did the Muskies have to do to win that game yesterday? Well, apparently just try a little bit harder on defense because the Red Devils couldn't make a bucket. I think they shot 24%. And they had 19 or 19 or 23, something ridiculous. ridiculous. The, the game was ugly to begin with. I think there was 42 turnovers in the game. Both uh, Muskies only shot 32%. Their point guard had a negative 17 PPR. I put it on Facebook. I, I just couldn't believe it. A negative 17 PPR, I've never even seen that. And they beat a team that's considered elite. Now, I, I don't think they're considered elite, but other people do. Like, they're worried about them. Sorry, Red. I just, you know, you know me and the Red Devils. But... Uh, the Red Devils are suspect. They can lose any game because they don't have a really good offense, and I think 5-5 five five is really similar to them because they don't have a really good offense either, if, if Burns, especially if Burns not there. So those teams are susceptible to losses if they don't make their buckets and don't really lock down. So, I mean, the Muskies, great performance, um, but it's probably a worse performance by the Red Devils. Okay, real quickly, St. Ball over the Blue, Blue Horns in overtime. Uh, quickly, your thoughts on that game? Um, it, it was... Blue Horns were winning the whole game, uh, and I really thought they were going to pull it out. Uh, Andy Doss was killing it, uh, and then he kind of wore down at the end. He started taking bad shots. Garland blocked him a few times, and the same ball scored a lot of points in transition. So I think they, I think it came down to fatigue more than it was same ball. You know, won the game. I think just the Blue Horns just got tired. Okay, a couple quick announcements, UH Nation. Um, the Draft League, Fridley Draft League, starts June 2nd in Fridley. Sign up quickly. $45 for games plus playoffs. The draft will take place Friday, May 31st at the Buffalo Wild Wings in Roseville. Yes, the Buffalo Wild Wings in Roseville. Uh, you do not want to delay. This thing is going to fill up really, really quickly. We already do have a lot of slots um, that, that, that have filled up. Secondly, we're going to be finding out who the best shooter in Minnesota is, UH player or non-UH player, starting June 3rd. The week of June 3rd, I got the dates here below on this, uh, on this article where you'll be able to come and shoot three-pointers for free. Um, all the contest details will be listed, uh, but we're going to find out who the best shooter is in Minnesota. And lastly, uh, pay attention to uhlife.com this weekend. Support Magicians Alliance or the Alliance of Magicians and the Bulls as uh, the Bulls work to defend their championship and uh, the Magicians work to uh, possibly bring another Ultimate Moves uh, Championship back home to Minnesota. So thank you, UH Nation. We will see you this weekend.